Once we are done downloading Audacity, the next step really is to import media and get started. So the way you import media is go to the file menu, select import and select audio. Notice the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift and I. When I select the audio, uh, you, you are presented with a dialog box which uh, lets you browse through your computer and select the file you want. I'll select the three files. Now before I move any forward, I would like to say that all the music you're going to hear uh, uh, in this uh, in this entire project is from Mr. Alistair Cameron and Cameron and uh, uh, it is the music is under the Creative Commons attribution license so I need to give proper credit and the credit is mentioned in the description okay back to audacity I click on the open button which lets me open the files in a few seconds audacity has managed to import all the files in my case three of them I'll just play You can see that Audacity has played all the three tracks at once. So, so uh, uh, when I want to listen to a particular track, uh, uh, a single track, you click on this button called as a solo button. Once you click on it, the rest of the two tracks will get uh, will get grayed out, so that you can hear only the track you wish to hear. Now, in this track, I want to cut my sound somewhere right here. I'll just right about there. So I'm I'm gonna select the zoom tool right here and zoom in. Okay, I'll cl double click on. And I'll just wait. Okay, so right about here I want to cut my clip. So I'll select uh I will select this tool right here called as a selection tool. And right from there, from 19th second, I'm going to select right till the beginning. Okay, so once I've selected uh, pressing my mouse, I'm going to press this key right here called the trim key. But now if I press this button, nothing will happen. Why is that so? Because I my clip is currently paused. I will need to stop the clip and now I can click on this trim button and you'll see the rest of the track has vanished so in in a matter of minutes i've managed to cut uh, an audio now you can see the end is a bit abrupt and we'll fix that in a later video for now i'm going to deselect this solo button and click on the solo button for this clip now when i play this clip play this clip uh The music you just heard is the music I'm interested in. I just don't want the rest of the track. Again, we'll follow the same procedure. I'll grab my selection tool, press the stop button. Now, I'm going to select my music, which I want, and again press on this trim button right here. Once I have this track selected, I'm done with this track. I'll deselect the solo button and select the solo button for this one. Now, I'm going to play this track. Okay, so in this case, I just don't want this starting bump right here. So how I'm going to uh, delete it? The very simple procedure is select the audio. After you select the audio, you press Control K on your keyboard. Another option to 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 uh, cut this audio is go to the edit menu, click on remove audio, and click on split split delete or delete for instance. And after you have deleted the file, the bump has just gone. And you can see my music starts from where I want. So I think I should end my video here. Also I want to point out that I don't want this entire audio. Uh, perhaps I might want to... Right till here. So I'm going to select this entire thing and click on this button right here. So in this video, what we have learned? We have learned how do you select a particular parts of audio, the different parts, and how do you cut them, how do you delete them, how do you trim them, here inside of Audacity. Thank you.